As you walk into the Knight Management Center and you look to the left, you'll notice the cornerstone of the center with an inscription that reads, dedicated to the things that haven't happened yet and the people who are going to dream them up. And I love that inscription because to me, it so completely captures the essence of what the GSB is about, which after all is innovation. And it speaks to our twofold mission. On the one hand, is the creation of the ideas by the faculty in a great research university, which will inform the practice of management. On the other hand, that portal is a portal to generations of students who will enter the complex and begin a process of personal transformation, a process that will enable them to dream up those things that haven't happened yet, and through that, to change lives, change organizations, and change the world. In the curriculum, we start with what we call perspectives. We deal with issues like ethics, strategic leadership, and the global context of management. These are the core concepts that a leader who is looking at how to take their organization forward has to be familiar with. We also then do a deep dive into what we call foundations. This is the nitty gritty of the basic management skills and knowledge that any leader of a managed organization has to master. We're talking about finance, operations, marketing, and so on. But to really change the world, you have to know how to lead. And we think that that involves three essential capabilities. Firstly, you need to be able to understand what the problem is. So that's where critical analytical thinking comes in. Then you need to think about what the solution is. Well, that's where innovation comes in. Finally, you have to be able to take that and implement it. And that's where personal leadership comes into effect. Our approach to critical analytical thinking is pretty unique. We start with a very intimate seminar in the full quarter. In that seminar, we look at some pretty interesting issues. For example, what should Google do in China? And we look at the HP board's decision around Mark Hurd's resignation. But what we're really doing, beyond our focus on the issues, is teaching our students about argumentation. Personal leadership starts with self-awareness, and then it is about how you interact with others. There are a couple of things that are distinctive and unique about our approach. One builds on a long legacy at the GSB, which is the course on interpersonal dynamics, known to many as touchy-feely. The other is coaching, helping them to learn through skills-based exercises how to be effective leaders. The third capability is innovative thinking. Here, we're moving aggressively to try to incorporate some of the learnings we've gotten from working with the design school around innovation. An example of the kind of collaborative work that we've done there is Jim Patel's course on entrepreneurial design for extreme affordability. We're tremendously excited that this personal transformation is going to have a new home in the Knight Management Center, which opens in the spring. The Knight Management Center has eight buildings arranged around three quads with a wide variety of space that's quite different from what we have now. More flat classrooms, more breakout rooms, and we're going to have a co-lab, which is a garage-like space where the students are going to be able to roll up their sleeves and do innovative new projects uh, in an actual hands-on way. We envision a space that is very collaborative a space where students get together around a table to dream up the next business plan, the way Phil Knight did while he was at the business school. It is really a home for innovation. As the Knight Management Center approaches completion, I really want to thank you for all of your contributions, great and small, which have made this possible. And I look forward to your continued participation in the life of the school, whether it's as a mentor, as a volunteer, coming back for your reunion, or as a donor. Thank you so much for being part of the life of the school and for everything that you do for us. If you really want to see the impact on our students, please click on the link on the page where you'll read some quotes from our students who describe their own personal transformation.